Good afternoon, Hilltop families, and happy Friday. Hope that everyone had a great week. It's been another unbelievable week here at Hilltop, despite that crazy weather that we had on Tuesday. Hope that everyone, families, you know, the houses, I hope that everyone is, is doing well. Um, first and foremost, we have a big night tonight. I hope that we will all come out in our new Hilltop gear to support our choir and band as we play the national anthem for the opening of the Miners game. So I want to make sure that I see everyone at 6 o'clock tonight at Skyland Stadium. Let me start with a uh, big shout out goes to third grader S.J. Gett. So SJ was just featured in the Sparta Independent for finishing in the top 20 in his age group. 20, not 20th percentile, but top 20 in the entire country for the Kangaroo Math Competition. My name is SJ, and I'm going to tell you about a cool math problem that I found. So it's an umbrella problem where this, it had to look like this. So it's kangaroo. And... So I had to find it, and these were my choices. Even though there are no numbers, operations, this is still math because we're looking for patterns. Patterns is a part of math. Math. So kangaroo math attracted 30,000 participants in the U.S., 6 million worldwide. And this is a great test. It was not just about mathematical rote memorization, but really critical thinking, word problems, and synthesizing uh, mathematical know-how into figuring out the 75-minute exam. So awesome job, SJ, and I think this is certainly a testament to I think, the ultimate reason why, why the majority of our families choose Hilltop, and that is just simply an incredible education that is going to prepare our kids for success in high school, in college, and beyond. So, great job, SJ. Congratulations to you and to your family. Down in our science lab, there have been some strange aromas coming out in the hallways. We've had two dissections, one today, one yesterday. One was a cow's eyeball, gross, and the other was actually a starfish. So Nick Arapolis is going to talk a little bit about that. Hey, hi, my name is Nick, I'm in 7th grade, and today, well, normally Fridays we do our lab days, and today our lab was dissecting a starfish. Last week we did a squid, and the week before we did a, um, a worm, and then we get to answer questions and dissect it and look at the different parts of it. And this is where all the stomach and all the main like organs are, and then this is how it gets its food through the digestive glands, so that's pretty cool. Ultimately, we believe that hands-on learning, kinesthetic learning, is the best way for kids to learn. Um, it reinforces some of what we learn in a textbook, but the malleability, kids getting their hands dirty, those smells, helps to bring to life um, this learning. So thank you, Mr. Rumstead, as always. So just, I, I believe that our curriculum is incredibly engaging and innovative. Two quick examples. So earlier this year in the upper school, Laura Petrie had our students um, going through some creative writing, some literary fiction, and just recently brought that to a different level, engaging Regina Cheryl and our technology curriculum as these kids created a three-dimensional world in Minecraft. Hi, I'm Charlotte Mignon, and I'm in seventh grade, and in technology we're doing this Minecraft, we have to create this Minecraft world using the fraction fairy tales that we did in English class. And it's kind of hard, but at the same time it's fun and you get to help other people by joining their world and seeing how it's different and like how you can help them. Because you get to put your writing into play almost like you're creating like a movie or a show. So it's fun for me for that reason. And so we love the interdisciplinary learning of writing across the curriculum and, of course, engaging uh, the technology. Our pre-Kers, uh, we believe that introducing our students to the alphabet, to, um, to literature at a very young age, is very important. As we talked about last week, it was the letter X. This week, it's the letter Y. And so they actually found the letter Y in an unusual place with fish. So I hope that our pre-Kers will, will help you understand this a little bit more. Um, 
Our book fair was this week, so thank you so much to the many parents that helped pull off this, uh, this incredible event. Unfortunately, it kicked off Tuesday night, which coincided with that tornado that tore through our area, so the turnout wasn't as great. But big thank you to Dawn Hessler for bringing uh, Tank, uh, a, a search and rescue dog. He was a, an adorable bloodhound. So the students that were able to come, they got a chance to, to meet Tank, and, and that was a great way to help bring some of these books to life. So that was a great event. And then finally, wanted to introduce some new second graders. So our second grade over the last few weeks has been working with some, some eggs uh, in, uh, in an incubator down in their classroom. And so Tim Jekko is going to introduce some of what we've been doing in the second grade to introduce some of these, uh, some of these hatchlings that will be joining our community sometime very soon. My name is Tim and I'm in second grade. The chicks are looking like chicks. They started like as yolk. And on the fifth day, their heads started to form. And on day eight, they like, no, day seven, they like just formed their body. And it looks like this today. So thank you to our second grade. That has been, um, it's been a great way to bring learning to life for these kids. And then finally, this is an exciting weekend. We've got the baseball game tonight. Unfortunately, our service project for tomorrow with Pass It Along uh, has been canceled due to inclement weather. It's going to be rescheduled for June 2nd. But tomorrow night, we have movie night, 7.30 p.m. here at Hilltop, rain or shine. We're going to be showing The Greatest Showman with Hugh Jackman. We've got some popcorn, some cotton candy, some drinks. Should be a fun night for the entire family. Hope to see you guys here. Everyone have a wonderful weekend. See you on Monday. Bye.